Hello, it's Haruka Please, and you're watching Haruka Please. So, who is Wario? Wario is a nemesis of Mario created in 1992 for the Super Mario Land series on Game Boy Advance. The complete antithesis of Mario, Wario is a fat, greedy, and a terribly unlikable person, which makes him stand out from the cast of mostly heroic characters. Wario got so popular, he sidelined Mario from his own series, and then he got himself to the great franchises Wario Land and WarioWare. Today, I want to briefly touch on each of Wario Land games that I played, which is not a terribly long list. First of all, the important distinction between the two is is that Wario Land is a platformer series, while WarioWare is a series of mini games following each other in rapid succession. Wario Land died in 2008 after mindering sales of Wario Land Shaky, while WarioWare franchise is alive to this day. I can't really compare them because they are way too different from each other, but each has something of its own to offer. Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land is a perfect example for an early installment weirdness, because in this game Wario looks far more goblin y. I don't know what you would call this look, but it's definitely even more grotesque than Wario's usual. It's the best selling Wario game that establishes his personality further, cementing him as the first and probably the most iconic anti hero of Mario Universe. This game also marks the very first appearance of Captain Syrup, the pirate antagonist of Wario, and I seriously wish she would appear more. She's present only in three Wario games, and is a bumper sticker in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Wario can obtain three helmets, each of which can serve as a game breaking tool in the hands of anyone who is not terrible at video games, so not me. After completing every stage, there is a small bonus game where you can shoot animals or try to predict which bucket has gold. If you predict incorrectly, you're going to fucking die. Oh, God damn it. Fuck me. The ending varies depending on the amount of coins Wario has collected. Wario Land 2 is a great game because you can't die. And I'm completely fucking terrible at video games. So it's the perfect fit for me. Compared to its predecessor, it's far more colorful. Get it because his color. <laughs> Wario Land 2 makes Wario look a bit more like his usual self, even though, despite the cover of the game, in the game he's still a tiny bit too pudgy. This chapter of Wario's journey marks the point where Wario learns how to obtain abilities to overcome some obstacles, like Drunk Wario, Fat Mario, Frozen Wario, Zombie Wario, Flat Wario, and a lot of other Wario. The plot is simple. Pirates infiltrate Wario's castle to get some of his money, and Wario goes on to the Revenge Rampage! Captain Syrup appears again before fucking up for a whole decade into the sea. <laughs> Wario Land 3 is weird, it's great what it's weird, because suddenly Wario Land City decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to become a metroidvania instead of a platformer. Surprisingly, it worked for most people, but I didn't really get all that far into it despite the fact that I still can't die. I couldn't die, I got caught tomorrow. The plot is weird too, for the first time Wario is presented as a noble with an intentional hero, and it's kind of interesting. No Captain Syrup this time unfortunately, Rudy is the clown is the primary antagonist now, which I am not really sure how to feel about because he kinda sucks. What? Wario Land 4 is far more close to feel towards WarioWare franchise rather than itself. Wario looks far closer to his modern interpretation, and the game goes back to being more linear, but not quite as linear as the first two games. The plot is far more contrived, the graphics are beautiful, and again, there are different endings. However, there comes a big point of contention. You can die again. I'm going to die! Wario Land franchise was never afraid to experiment, so this is not exactly that weird for your development, but it's still a little jarring. As usual, you have some neat minigames and effects that can help you to advance through the level. I'd say out of four of them, Wario Land 4 is probably my favorite one, while Wario Land 3 is my least favorite, mostly because I'm not really much of a Metroidvania guy, despite liking the Metroid franchise. But I can't say that I disliked any of them. Truth be told, I wish Nintendo made more of these. It's kinda sad how we are approaching 12th year without a proper Wario Land game. At least we still have WarioWare, so it's not all that bad. Wario Land died in 2000, 2000. I don't know what you would call this look, but it's definitely even more good to get. Fuck! I can't really compare them because they are way too different from each other, but each has something it's of its own to. Fuck! I can't really compare them because they are way too different from each other, but each has something to. God fucking damn it, Jesus Christ!